What is up guys, Taiki here. Uh, so, you know, let's discuss everything that's happened in the last 24, 48 hours because it's been really rough, right? Um, it's one of those, I wouldn't really call it a black swan because we always knew this was possible, right? But it's one of those tail risks that, you know, we always know that exists, um, but we sometimes don't account for it because, you know, it's really difficult to quantify the actual likelihood of these things happening. Uh, and yeah, so let's first discuss um, everything that happened. Um, and, you know, instead of talking about, you know, Luna, UST, like the future or whatever, um, I'm not really going to focus on that because at this point, it doesn't really matter what I think. Um, it just kind of matters uh, how Doquan, Terraform Labs, um, and like its backers, right? How they're going to respond. Um, so I don't really have an edge in like predicting what's going to happen. Uh, so I'll just more focus on like the human elements of my channel, myself, um, and just crypto in general. Um, and yeah, let's yeah let's talk about everything. So obviously I put out this tweet yesterday. Um, you know, it's Danku, right? A fellow YouTuber. Um, we both covered Terra. Um, I had him on my channel like two times, two, three times. Um, yeah, overall good guy. And, you know, he was really feeling bummed out last night um, about, you know, like talking about Luna, um, you know, just being bullish, <laughs> I guess, Luna um, and ha like seeing it implode before your eyes. Um, and, you know, I, I felt the same way, right? Because um, it's one thing for me to lose money right in the markets, right? That's that's my fault. Um, but given that I have the platform, which I'm really grateful to have, right? Um, the fact that, you know, I have this platform and I've been, you know, bullish Luna and USD for seemingly almost the past 12 months, um, you know, definitely got complacent, right? Um, and, you know, it's de it's like impossible not to feel guilt, um, responsibility, um, because, you know, as my channel grows bigger, right? Um, it's, it's one thing when my channel has like 500 subscribers, right? I can just like talk about like whatever, right? And like Doge to the moon, whatever. Um, but at, at this given point, right? Um, at, the, like the, at the level that my, my channel is, um, you know, I have to I have to be better. Um, you know, it's because I, I feel like my sentiment when it comes to Luna and USD, um, which was kind of like consensus at this point, um, but you know, it, it was still complacent uh, where, you know, I was like, yep, like I think Luna, right? Uh, with the UST mechanic, with the tokenomics, uh, can outperform in like a bearish environment. Uh, we kind of saw that earlier in the year, right? Uh, where it like outperformed the rest of the market. Um, and, you know, I was complacent in the sense that, yeah, like I think the USD peg is fine, right? Uh, it's got a bunch of backers backing it. They accumulated some Bitcoin. Um, but obviously, you know, when, you know, when these things get tested, uh, and depending on the magnitude of the stress, you know, we can really see we, we can really see things unwind. Uh, and you know, I was gonna make a video yesterday, right, um, for Monday, um, but I was a little bit too overwhelmed uh, with everything that was going on. Uh, so I was like, okay, let's give it a day um, and cover it tomorrow. Um, and I was preparing material um, for you know today's video because um, like whenever I make these videos or like tr traditionally, um, I like to format it, right? Um, I prepare like ten tabs and like or like create like a slide deck. Um, but this video is like more impromptu, right? I kind of want to just have like a heart to heart, um, you know, because sometimes I give off this robotic nature. Um, you know, that's what people tell me. Um, but I do have emotions uh, and, you know, I, I don't think like emotions are talked about enough in crypto, right? Um, and, but anyways, uh, yeah, it definitely sucks, right? Because, um, yeah, like I said, um, it's one thing for me to lose money, uh, but it's another thing for, you know, people to, you know, buy into what I'm saying and have them lose money. Uh, it's you know, it's 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 really tough, right? Um, it's it's been pretty bad. It's yeah. Uh, so you know, just just for transparency reasons, right? Um, I guess like the amount I lost. Uh, I I have to do the math, um, but I think I lost roughly seven or eight percent of the portfolio, plus or minus one percent on either side, or six to nine percent, I guess. Um, but probably like seven percent ish. Um, like fortunately, um, I took profits a couple weeks ago on Luna. Um, you know, I diversified like my stablecoin risk, um, and but but obviously, you know, like you know, like we, we stake UST to earn twenty percent, and then it deep pegs like forty percent. Like oh god, uh, so you know, I was hit on both Luna and UST. Uh, right now, I'm primarily out of those markets, um, just so I can start with a clean slate. Um, you know, like. I mentioned I'm not going to talk about Luna and USD, but you know, my, my base case, right? Um, keep in mind, I have no idea what the hell is going to happen. Uh, it like ninety, like it mostly depends on like how they're going to like how the team is going to react from this, 
But I think what's likely, um, I could be wrong, is that I think UST will repeg um, and it's gonna contract in market cap significantly. And I think Luna, the asset is gonna like suffer a lot. Um, it's gonna be really difficult to bounce back from this because it's one thing for USD to depeg back in May of 2021, right? Because a similar thing happened 12 months ago, um, but USD was a small market cap, right? It didn't really hit um, the rest of the market. Um, but given that USD was a top 10 asset, um, I think a lot more people have exposure to USD and Luna. Um, and if that's gonna be, if that's the case, then when it does you know, blow up, uh, it's gonna affect the rest of the market. And we kind of saw that yesterday. Uh, so that's my outlook, right? Um, and even if UST and Luna does come back, I think it's gonna take some time uh, for the system to you know, improve. Um, I think they're gonna have to redesign the this, this system, right? Because obviously this design uh, system, I mean, it, it didn't work, right? Um, it didn't withstand this tr stress test. So if they were to come back from this, then you know, first of all, they have to defend UST first, right? Um, whatever, whatever that means. And then after that, uh, they're gonna have to recreate um, the Luna design. I don't know what they're gonna do, but I think that's gonna be the best path forward for them to pivot into a different model. Uh, I, I don't really know how, like, I, I don't really know where that's gonna go, but yeah, that's kind of how I think about it, right? Like I'd rather it's just like de-risk now and then buy back higher once it's proven itself. That's kind of my, my sentiment. Um, so that's my sentiment. Um, but yeah, uh, go going back to like my I guess like the more personal and uh, human side of this channel. Um, you know, I, I, I really try to, you know, first of all, like do good research, right? Um, and hopefully my ideas have been helpful historically, even though recently I feel like my, my research hasn't been that good, uh, to be honest. Um, but you know, when I started this channel, right, back in late 2020 or early 2021, right, when my videos got like 12 views on average, um, I, I had to ask, my girlfriend and like my family members to like comment and stuff right it was it, it was in those days um i really came to um i i created this channel started making videos in the hopes of educating people right um because making videos was a way for me to be like for me to take accountability to do good research and you know to formulate my thoughts right in a concise way uh and over time right um my very first couple of videos, I was like, hey, like I'm buying these governance tokens, right? A great thing. Uh, and then I got wrecked and then I'm like, okay, like that's not the way to go. Um, let's focus more on like how money flows through ecosystems, uh, demand, like supply demand dynamics. And hopefully that's gonna be a better way to uh, invest and whatnot. And you know, in, in like a super bullish environment, right? Um, I think I did pretty well, right? On, on average. Um, uh, but you know, in, in this type of market, um, you know, it's <laughs> USD has imploded. Uh, and you know, I think one of the things that like, I really value a lot um, is like my ethos. Um, you know, like I said, like when I started this channel, right? Um, it was with the intention of helping people, educating people, and really being the part of the industry for the long term. Uh, you know, I, I don't do cash grabs, right? Like I, like I, I don't run ads. Um, I don't do paid promotions. I don't even participate in seed seed. Uh, seed rounds right i get offered them but like i just like don't do them um just so that like i understand like how everyone feels I'm, i have to you know participate in the secondary markets as does everyone else um because I, I think it's a little weird when you know influencers just get like an advantage over everyone else just because you know they have a following um so i'm gonna maintain that ethos right um so yeah i'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna i'm gonna maintain that ethos um and you know like I said, like this video is unscripted, so like I'm kind of losing my train of thought. Um, but I, I guess the point is, like you know, I try to have good intentions. I really try my best when it comes to sharing ideas, sharing research. Um, you know, I I hope this uh, moment is a way for everyone to understand that, like you know, I could be wrong. I'm usually wrong. You know, anyone making videos on YouTube, anyone tweeting on. Uh, social media like whatever you know no one's perfect you know at the like, at the end of the day like no one knows how markets move sometimes we're caught off sides sometimes we misallocate and at the end of the day we're just trying to like do our best manage risk and have realistic expectations uh and definitely like when it comes to this right um definitely didn't uh to the best of my abilities um but i think i know exactly how i want to rebound um you know, 
like I said, I'm, I'm going to be, you know, part of the space for a very long time. Um, I'm not going to let this affect me. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, this gives me more. This gives me more motivation to work harder, to be better, um, and uh, yeah, just keep bringing the best content that I can create. Uh, you know, I, I want to get to the point where you know you can doubt uh, my ideas and my research. Um, but you can't doubt my integrity. Uh, that's that, that's my north star, um, and I hope that's been made clear uh, in the past in the past year and a half or so. Um, so, yeah. So bring bring it all back, right? Um, you know, definitely. This is like you know, this is gonna set the, yeah. Th this is like not good for the markets, right? Um, it's probably gonna bring some neg negative headlines in terms of regulation. Um, you know. Maybe this video is the bottom, right? Like, imagine that. Uh, but yeah, it definitely doesn't feel great right now, right? Um, and you know, I, I don't want to be that uh, <laughs> that guy saying like, oh, you, you know, like manage downside, manage risk. Um, but I guess like that's kind of how <laughs> I have to be now. Um, you know, um, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's 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 rough. Um, I hope everyone's doing okay. Um, you know, I guess. What you can expect from me is that, you know, I'll keep stripping, I'll keep doing my best, uh, not gonna let this stop me, uh, you know, because, you know, it, this is part of the game, right? I mean, I can't, I come from a poker background, you know, I, I, you know, I've had more painful moments than this, uh, and every time, um, you know, it's like seven steps back, eight steps forward, right? Like, <laughs> I don't know how I came up with those numbers, uh, but, you know, that's how, uh, I've persevered my entire life uh, and got to where I am, and I'm not gonna let this stop me. And I hope that you know you guys will stick through me with the journey, um, and I hope everyone's doing okay. You know that's kind of how I feel about uh, feel feel right now. Um, yeah. Not not much else to say. Um, yeah, that's that's. <laughs> That's about it. Right? This is this is the you know this this is how it is when I don't have a script. I just like blank out because uh, English isn't my first language and whatnot. So yeah, it is what it is. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Yeah, and have a good one out there. Uh, and see you guys later.